Seven years ago, I was in grad school studying water. I wanted to research CSOs, but the data was not in order. <laughs> HTML tables across 100 pages. The data was crap, lat longs it lacked. The timestamps overlapped, a GIF for a map. And if pop-ups were blocked, the page didn't do jack. <laughs> so I quit the idea and studied stormwater modeling instead. For almost five years, I didn't think of it again. Till Forrest brought it up at 1871 one night, talking about Chicago data hidden in plain sight. Here he is discussing it as we sat around a table. And there I am, feeling excited, willing, but unable. <laughs> I'd come to Hack Night a few times, said hello, but didn't find my jam. Till this group rekindled my interest and showed me that I can. I asked him with his connections if he could get the source. I'd like to do some analysis, but I need it in a usable form. He looked me up, he looked me down, and said, so you can code? Just write a program to scrape the page to find what you want to know. Stack Overflow and Java code, and I was able to deliver. After five years, I had finally a historic record of sewage in the river. So thank you, Hack Night number 85, where I built that overflow tracker. And my mentality sh started to shift from engineer to hacker. To tell if a CSO was currently happening, Derek Forrest and Van Zanten started is there sewage in the Chicago River .com. Joining forces with them was the bomb. Money, women, fame, and fortune. None of that came, but we, we almost made something. Afterwards, I thought back to grad school and the things I could have done. I was reminded of a GIS project on fecal coliform. <laughs> I had built a visualization from random samples down the coast, but I had wanted to report which beaches were closed the most. Now, with my superpowers of, wave, of web scraping writing scripts, I remembered the website I first saw at Hack Night number 86. So yeah, I got up here every week and had some fun talking about beaches and making duty puns. A new guy started at work one day as he extended his hand. He said, hey, you're the poo guy. I said, yes, I am. <laughs> Direct Beach didn't have much purpose, and again, there wasn't a dime. So I schemed to build my next water idea on my company's time. A 12-week sprint, the mix of work and hack night was kind of sorted. I think we did some really cool things, but we're only getting started. A spatio-temporal rain data set is missing from open source. I think we'll have it soon, but there is work to do, of course. With the array of things, raspberry pies, and sensors on the portal, our data points are growing, feeding fuel to our models. In the 21st century water-starved world, this city is truly blessed. But we're wasteful and polluting with a system that is stressed. Our infrastructure is old and inefficient. We need some better ways, despite draconian cuts to Great Lakes restoration in the EPA. I wanted to take this moment to remind you that five years is too much time to not quench your curiosity and leave your questions on the line. This community is a resource for you as you will figure to fit in. So follow the data and build something awesome before Hack Night turns 10. <laughs>